What's going on people? It's Javen back to you for another show episode. It's be a short one today. Um, guys, just before I start, um, yeah, I've not been around for the last few weeks. I've been very busy, if I'm honest. Um, and as I said, I'm not going to put content out just for the sake of it. Um, there's nothing for me that I caught my eye, so I, did, I just didn't bother. Um, but yeah, today I'll keep it short. Um, and also guys, just before I start, um, thank you to the community, or 90 subscribers. Get 10 to get to at least 100, I think I should have been 100 a long time ago to be fair But um, appreciate those that support as, as, as normal um, If you're new around here, please hit the like, um, hit subscribe button And guys keep supporting by liking the video, the liking the video is a very important thing I appreciate you guys that view it, but please just hit the like button, it costs nothing It takes one, it takes like probably a millisecond as well, one second to hit the like button pushes the algorithm and it helps the channel um, grow um, which is what you guys want and I want as well but I think we're in this together um, yeah and guys also um, feel free to name some if you if it's something you think that is that you want me to talk about write in the comment in the, um, comment 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 stuff on the comment under the video or for, for the suggestions, I'm happy to look through them. I'm not gonna promise that I'll do that particular topic. I still got it still got to make sense for me to talk about or want to talk about it. But just feel free to make the suggestions. It's your channel as well, and also in the in the community section as well on YouTube. Um, that's it. And guys, one last thing before I get on as well. Most people that are watching it are not subscribed. That's another thing. You're not watching it, but you're not hitting the subscribe button, which then you know want to get you want to get the ratio a bit closer. So today, guys, we're going to talk about um, this is a let's talk, about, let's talk about a little bit of what's going on in football. Um, regards, regards a certain player known as Paul Pogba, and breaking news is that Paul Pogba, Juventus midfielder, has been banned for four years after World Cup winner tested positive for doping. Um, so this is, guys, to me, this is quite. I find this quite sad. This is quite very sad. Um, it's not really good news at all. Um, Grand um, footballer Paul Pogba, one of the most high profile footballers in the world, and I think his career has just gone downhill. If I'm honest, he he's an extremely talented footballer, and I, I'm not. I'm an Arsenal fan. Those guys that that, that, that have watched him probably know I'm an Arsenal fan. Even though he didn't play for my club, I was a big fan of Paul Pogba, former um, Juventus, um, played for French national team. Manchester United when he was in the Prem and before that Juventus as well tipped for some really big things and to be honest he has won some stuff in his career so it's not that his career's been rubbish but it's not hit the standards that it's supposed to he should have seen a lot more um, and he's actually 30 he's, he's 30 he's, he's 31 this year and he's gonna yeah I'll read, I'll read the article so again Paul Bogo has been banned had a four year ban the Juventus, Juventus midfielder tested positive for um, DHEA in August, um, so he's been ba so he's been banned for doping. So Italy, Italy's national anti-doping tribunal um, accepted the request of the anti-doping prosecutor's office to hand out the four-year ban, which is standard length of ban under the world, world anti-doping code. The ban starts from when Pogba first tested positive, so the France international is banned until August 2027. He will be 34 years old when the ban stops, raising doubt over whether his career will continue after that. Pogba will, will appeal he, the, against this decision to the Court of Arbitration of Sport in um, Laz, Lazuin. Sorry for mispronunciation. Should Pogba take the ruling to CAS to judge on, to judge on then WADA will appeal against that. A final judgment could end up at the Swiss courts. The 30-year-old Juventus player was suspended as a precaution in September 2023 after being found positive for testosterone um, metabolites last August following Juventus' game at Udinese on August the 20th. The France international did not play in the Serie A match but was on the Juventus bench. Um, it was reported in October that Pogba would fight to clear his name after testing positive for... I do not know how to say this name. But well, in brackets is DHEA, a compound that promotes the production of hormones in the body, including testosterone. Um, Pogba's agent, Rafa, Rafaela Pimenta, insisted Paul never wanted to break the rules. 
After his initial suspension, Pogba asked for counter-analysis to be made on his positive doping result, but those results also returned a positive result. Uh, in December, anti-doping prosecutors in Italy requested the maximum four-year ban following his positive doping test. Uh, he opted not to make a plea bargain with the anti-doping agency, meaning the case was tried before the country's anti-doping court. A four-year anti-doping ban can be reduced in cases when an athlete can prove it was not intentional with a result of contamination or if they can provide substantial assistance to help investigators. Um, yeah, so again, guys, so... I have had five up Paul Pogba. Bear with me a second. So he's 30, so he's on the 15th of March, which is very soon, he's 31. So by that time, he's only again, they said 34. So four years from now, or August 2027, they, they said he could be banned for. I think his career is done. I think his career is done. Because even before this happened, he's he had a lot, he had injury issues. Um, he had injuries issues when he went back to Juventus. He had issues um, with fitness. It's, it's a shame, man. It's a shame. Like, he won the World Cup in 2018. Um, so, he would have been, what, 20, yeah, 25 when he won the World Cup in 2018. That was good. Good issue in the World Cup as well. And yeah, man, like, went to United. He is actually in the academy at United. And then he got released. And then obviously he's gone on to Juventus, done the good stuff. Then he came to United, won and stuff. But his career just, he just, it just ended horribly. He, for me, Pogba should be in conversations with Ballon d'Or um, um, contender. Like, he should be talked about in regards to, like, you know how you got Mbappe's and uh, Erling Haaland's? He should be up there, but from a, in like the midfield position now, like no, no one's talking about Paul Pogba these days. Like literally, his stock has fallen. Like no one is talking about him no more. Like I, I, I wish he was like at Arsenal, but he was. No one's talking about him. Like up there, like it's a shame, man. It's a, it's a real shame that this has happened. But yeah, it's, a, it's, 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 it's tragic. Like he's so talented. Like he's got. For me, he's got the talent. He's got the. He's, he's marketable. He's got the X factor. He's got. He's got everything, everything, but yeah, it's it's a shame. What and what do you guys think? Do you think Paul Pogba could could do? You, do you think that he will end up um, busting case and avoiding a ban? And if he is banned, do you think he get he ends up? It could be reduced from four years to maybe I don't know a year or two. Do you think if he was banned for four years that he would actually play again? You know. Just come out playing like I don't know maybe if let's say the Saudi league's still popping in four years time they're still paying ext uh, extravagant wages that like he can just earn his bread there and what do you guys think like what do you think of his career so far do you think it's been like overwhelming um, do you think that he's not really lived up to what he should have or do you think he's he's done enough won a World Cup he's won um, yeah he's won league titles and some cups with that like, UV won a World Cup the biggest um, prize in football or other sport generally like what do you think of of it because i think it's a shame but yeah um we move and just to show you just to show you that like being a footballer like really your career is short your career is short you know you gotta make the right decisions on the pitch off the pitch like you gotta make sure that you <sighs> hopefully for the if fortunate for fortune to avoid um in, injuries Make sure that your financial and money, your money work, make your money work for you. You gotta do all this right. Yeah, and, and I feel a lot of people don't, they don't do it properly. But yeah, man, it's 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 weird, man. I, I, I mean, I don't know, but yeah, like, four four years, that's that's peak. Your fifth your average career. Let's say you start at like I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's not even say eighteen. Let's say that you break into the first team at twenty twenty one. On average, a career really ten years. Let's say fifteen years, thirty-five, four years, five years. That's you, you, you. That's, that's to me. That's like a third of your. That's basically like a third of your career. Quarter, third of quarter of your career, depending on how much you give it. Especially your, you know. But yeah, it's horrible. But anyway, guys, please like like this video. Comment comment um, what you think down below. If you and also if you have any other subjects you want me to talk about that I've not done. Leave it in the comment sections below. I'll engage. I engage with everybody that as much as possible, as you know. And yeah, just keep supporting the channel. Um, until next time, guys. Peace.